I'm going to give you some more definitions. Before I get into that, I need to go over with you the four causes that I talked to you about in the previous video. Uh, I'm going to talk about them in relation to God because um, using uh, looking at them in relation to God um, gives us some um, interesting insights about God. So uh, we have to ask the question: Well, is there does God have an efficient cause? Right? Well, no, nothing created God, and however, God Himself created everything, so God Himself is the efficient cause everything. Um, next question is, does God have a final cause, a purpose? Well, no, we can't say God has a purpose because nothing created God to give God a purpose. Um, God, however, himself has a purpose in mind for everything that he created. So the next question is, does God have a material cause? Well, no, God is not made of matter or anything that could be called matter. Um, God, however, created all matter from nothing. <laughs> so, and the fourth cause, um, does God have a form? And finally to this we say, well, yes, God is form without matter. And if, if you're curious about that, how God can be form without matter, um, I, I invite you to read uh, Thomas Aquinas. Um, I'm going to give you uh, where to look for that. So this brings me to the first definition. The first definition is uh, spirit. And spirit, um, a lot of people, um, when they think of spirit, they have an incorrect idea in their head of what we actually mean when we say spirit. Uh, a lot of people think that spirit is just sort of an other dimensional um, uh, being made of some sort of other matter, right? But in reality, uh, philosophers from ancient times as well as theologians um, of today all believed that the definition of spirit is that it is actually form without matter and that's why we call God spirit right but there are other uh, beings that could be called spirit uh, the angels for example the angels are not are not God they, they, they're not divine only God is divine and the angels are created by God but they have one thing in common is that they are formed without matter and this brings us to the next definition the soul right the soul is the the human spirit that continues on with um, after the body dies the soul is is spirit meaning is formed without matter but the interesting thing about the soul is that even though it continues after death, it's not the preferred state of the soul to be apart from the body. It was made for the body. All right, so and that brings us to our next definition, a uh, human. You need to know that a human is, by what we mean by human is both body and soul. A soul by itself is incomplete, not full human. A uh, body without a soul is incomplete, not full human. Human is both body and soul. All right, so I'm going to go a little bit deeper here uh, using some using some science to talk about uh, form without matter. Um, there's a little while back um, I read this article. I don't remember what it was from, uh, but some physicist has was stating that he thought that we're getting closer to proving that spirits don't exist. And when I read that, I I, I thought to myself, I, I seriously doubt that, um, because he's probably making the mistake most people make about spirits, is that they would be made out of some sort of matter that you could detect in a particle accelerator or something like that, um, but, but that, that would be matter, not form without matter. Um, I'm going to give you, using a little bit of um, insight into quantum physics, I'll, I'll keep it simple, um, about what scientists should really be looking for if they're going to look for spirit. And so one of the strange things about uh, subatomic particles, there are a lot of strange things about subatomic particles, but one of them is that they really don't, in their, in their normal state when they're traveling um, through space, they don't have 
an exact physical location or velocity. Um, they they kind of exist rather in a cloud of probability, more likely in one place than another, and so forth. Um, and then when they actually hit something, then the position and the velocity is determined. And I mean determined, not discovered, right? And that's because the 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 exact position and velocity don't exist until it's determined when you actually hit something. So, and we're going to take that and and use our philosophical terms to describe that particle. All right. So when a particle is flying through space normally, that particle has matter but no form. Right. It has no form because we don't know its position or velocity. But when it hits something, it has both matter and form. So think about this. If matter it can can be in a state where it has it has matter but no form, then it stands to reason that in physics there might be a case where a case can exist where there's form without matter. And so if scientists can show that there are cases in the universe where there's form without matter, then they will have discovered what theologians consider spirit to actually be. So one last thing, I want to talk about substance and accident in relation to God. Now, this is kind of interesting. It turns out that there are no accidents in God whatsoever. Um, things that are normally accidental in us are substantial in God. Uh, for example, humans love, or they don't love, but whether a human loves or not doesn't change the, the reality of whether or not that person's human. But in God, um, love is not accidental to God. Love is substantial to God. Um, and in another case, there's, there's this, been this question that sometimes people ask where, uh, did goodness come before God, and that goodness guides God's actions, or does goodness exist because God defines what is good? And the answer to that is neither. It's because goodness is not accidental to God, it's substantial to God. It can't be separated from God, and to even ask that question. All right, so um, that's, so always remember that there's no Nothing is ever accidental to God. So I hope that this has been informative for you, um, and God bless you.